Hi, my name's Mike, and today I've got an interesting message. Uh, it's the latest one from God given to Brother Byron Sell. It's about the three days of darkness. It's called Absolute Black, given on the 17th of March 2019. Scripture given Amos 5.20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Uh, and this was given, my son, darkness is soon coming upon this nation and thick darkness upon the hearts of those who reject me. This darkness is not only spiritual, but also physical, as it will envelop the entire nation and world. Men's eyes will strain to find light, and even a match will, will seem like a spotlight, absolute black is what is said when you enter a cave and turn off all the lights. Your eyes strain to see even the smallest amount of light. And it says, here, at this point, the Lord brought back to my memory a scene from 1976 where my wife and I were stationed at Rinnenbacher AFB in Columbus, Ohio. We went on tour of the Urnotangi Indian Caverns, sorry for my spelling is not brilliant, um, pronunciation is not brilliant. They are underground caverns, passages and rooms on three levels that go from a depth of 55 to 100 feet down, 105 feet down. During the tour, when everyone was pretty far down inside, they announced that the lights would be going out. When the lights went out, it was complete and total darkness, pitch black. You could not see anything at all. This was what the Lord showed me it would be like during this time. <clears throat> then it continues, This is the way the darkness will be upon the earth, because this is the way of man's heart. This was the way it was during Noah's time. Men's hearts had evil in them all the time. My son, I say this darkness will last three days, any longer, and men's minds would snap and it would go insane, and all would go insane. This will be as if, as in it is in hell. This will be as if it is in hell, in the outer darkness, when men will gnash their teeth. This darkness will also be the time when a bottomless pit will open, and hordes of demons will flood the earth. Gross, thick darkness, absolute black. My son, for my remnant and bride, I will illuminate you during this time. So after the days of darkness pass, you will shine as beacons, reflecting my glory and light. I am the light of the world, and all men will be drawn to me. Many will turn away when my light exposes their sin, but some will allow my light to erase the darkness of sin. My son, I am coming soon to gather my remnant, and it will be during the total blackout. Absolute black, no light. That is when I will come and transform my remnant. This darkness is very near. My word says I will. I inhabit the darkness, the thick darkness. You can read that at First Kings eight twelve, and I will. And I will very soon claim my own. I love you, my children, my remnant, my bride. I am coming very soon. Keep your eyes on Israel. That is the clue. Netanyahu will be re-elected, for I have chosen him to lead Israel in the final days, just as I have chosen Trump to bring judgment on America. All is as it is to be, according to my word. Nothing can change what is about to come. Be ready at all times. Amen. Messiah Jesus. So that was the latest message, and I want to read finally a scripture about the darkness. Isaiah uh, 60, uh, chap ver chapter 60, verses 1 to 3. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. For behold, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord will rise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. That's Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 3. 
Anyway, I'll leave it there and say anyone out there who hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer and repentance as time is running out. God bless you all. Bye-bye.